This channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. And this video is sponsored by Husk Knives. Okay, I'm always asked for catch and cook videos. Hey, gonna have two recipes uh, on this video. One about halfway through, I'm gonna put one at the end and they are both gonna be really easy and delicious. But first we have to catch some fish for those recipes. All right, heading over the, uh, what's turning out to be sea bass yeah, grounds, but these up. are usually great striper and bluefish grounds as well. You can see that beautiful structure on the bottom. Look at the fish finder. Um, and there we go, we just went over some in like 55 feet some rocks and other things and uh, just shutting down at about 65 feet of water uh, current is just starting to go and uh, we're going to start doing some deep snapping of one and one and a half ounce bucktails and something real important there uh, you know i put that boat in reverse for any kind of drift fishing you get up to the top of the drift stop the boat and because uh, if you don't your line's going to scope out all over the place and these rod sweeps here, just to get the line off the reel, it's 10 pound test braid. I've got only a one ounce jig in about 65 feet of water. And that uh, thin braided line is key to this fishing. You have to reduce the drag on the line to be able to get those lightweight jigs to the bottom. And just watching that bright yellow line, want to see it hit the bottom, I'm going to snap it up high. And uh, you're going to get to see a lot of the hits are going to, you're going to see a little twitch in the line. And uh, it, it, the line is lit up really well under these conditions for you to see that. Yeah, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to go up to an ounce and a half, I think. And you know you've hit bottom when you see the float in the line. Okay. Oh, I saw that interruption. Now, this is not a sea robin. This is sea bass. And that's my brother Bob with me on the other side of the boat. And that's a one ounce SNS Skinner Gulf Series jig. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah. Damn it. Well, you can see the real the ticks in the line real easily today. There he is. Okay, that's good. So that's two on this drift. So are we keeping any more fish or what are we doing? Yeah, throw one more. Throw that one in there. Get that to keep. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? If, if I got a measure, I'm not bothering. That's better. Got, we'll go a little farther. I got two on that drift. So, and you, and you two? You on? All right. So that's three on this drift. All right. All right. We just we needed to get the current. That's all right. At least you hooked them. I mean, we, so we we hooked three that drift. We we're just getting the current going. So, oh, he he hit it on the way down. I saw the line tick. Oh, I dropped them. All right. So we hooked four on this drift. So, good. Oh, I got them. Boy, they're thick down there. They just needed some water flow. Oh, we're not going to be measuring this one. You got them too? Good. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh yeah. All right, 
we were just a little early. Oh, put down just because we're on a pile of fish. And I'll, uh, I'll bleed this one out. I think we're getting into some structure now. Here he is. Ah, you prick. Here he is. Oh yeah, look at this, look at the fish finder. <laughs> I know it's just a rock, but that's some structure. Big ass sea bass. Always hook the good ones when the battery runs out. Oh, there we go. Thumper. Oh man, we can't let that one go. What do you think? No. Let's Why keep him. No. If he comes. God. Okay. Yeah, that's a beauty. Oh, those big ones have such nice fillets. So yeah, we're keeping them and uh, we'll get to see two ways of making them. First, a word from our sponsor. Okay, before we get to the cooking and fish preparation part of the video, I want to show you this knife from our sponsor, Husk. This thing's a beauty. This is high quality Japanese stainless steel, a 38 degree angle on the edge. It just makes it absolutely so sharp. Um, what I really like is they've got this uh, finger hole, this curve here, the oak handle, your hand just fits right on there beautifully. And what I like about that is it's very safe. There's no chance that your hand can slip forward and get cut on the knife. And that's really important with this one because it's very sharp. You would not want to slip up with this. Um, just great attention to detail, 11 inches overall, only nine ounces, extremely well balanced. Uh, just a, a great all around knife um, in the kitchen, but I'm gonna show, uh, making some sea bass crudo with it, just perfect for, mason, for making those um, nice thin slices of fish. Um, and right now, uh, my viewers can get a 70% discount, 30 day money back guarantee by following the link in the video description. So all right, let's move on to using the knife. All right, for us, it's turning out to be a really great all around kitchen knife for cutting all kinds of things. You know, all sorts of vegetables and meats and, you know, generally anything you're making in the kitchen. What's nice is I, I don't have to work with a bunch of different knives. I've got this one. It works well, and, uh, and it's staying very sharp. I've been using it for a bunch of things. But here's the important thing for this video is what are we going to do with these sea bass? Well, sea bass crudo, and you want to have a nice, thin, um, with, like with these fillets, you want to do like an angled cut and... Um, yeah, boy, this stuff is going to be delicious. And the knife is perfect for that because it's very sharp. Uh, it really does a nice job of making these thin cuts that are necessary for something like crudo. All right, first thing you want to do is season them with a little bit of sea salt. I like this ground stuff here. You note that the fish is all arranged in a single layer and this was a chilled plate that's important you want to keep everything cold um, a little bit of ground pepper and of course you know this is all a matter of taste of you know, how you want it um, yeah, a little bit light like that and then simply some lemon juice now this is important don't you know use the stuff that's already in the bottles in the grocery store try to get use some fresh lemon juice cut you know cut your lemons and use it right from the lemons that's the best stuff and you might go through you know depending on how much you make you, you might even go to a second lemon but i think one's going to cover this although these aren't the juiciest lemons i've ever used but this will be enough and just drizzle them over Make sure it covers everything. Yes. And, you know, this is good with a lot of different fish. I mean, it's excellent with fluke. I actually think sea bass are um, among the best eating fish. And then finally, um, some decent quality olive oil. Just a drizzle. 
across everything. I'll try not to flood it. Yeah, there we go. You just want to get a little flavor on there. It's a little more than I wanted, but... Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. It's ready to serve and uh, couldn't be simpler or more delicious. In fact, here we go. Wow. Good stuff. Now I know what some people are thinking. Ugh, raw fish. And I used to think that way, but not anymore. But I said this is a catch and cook, and we're catching. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show a really simple cooking recipe with these fish. <sighs> oh, um, uh, just toss them, yeah. I think he's good, but... I, I really, I only want like one, oh, there he is. You could just see that tick in the line before I even, you know, bent the rod. I was like, there's the tick. Um, yeah, I mean, I know I should be, ooh. You know, if they're major jumbo, and you know, like that one you had, you know? Right. And That's this this one's got, I mean, there's so much meat on those those big ones. Let him go. Yeah, I'll throw him back. Yours is bigger than mine. There we go. But I think by now be out of them. Well, that was something. I didn't get any, nothing to show for it, but... Oh, let's get them on the ice. Yeah, sure. I forgot about them. I'll get them on the ice. Keep jigging. Yeah. Hey, we, this one was right down the right down the pipe. So you know what? Unless we we double up or something great on this drift, we'll just we'll make this the last drift here. I, we'll take one in there. If nobody's in there, we'll take one in there and then one or two in there just to see if there's any other life forms besides sea bass. was kind of weird. It's like they're not really on the structure that they're supposed to be on. Whoa. And these are just plain uh, jigs, no trailer, no bait or anything. Real nice, clean, uh, easy fishing, easy rigging. Tie on a bucktail, you're done. You know, I'm gonna keep him. What, and, uh... I guess we'll end up, I'll end up making a meal out of these things at some point. Okay, let's cook this up, and uh, actually we'll cook up this and, uh, and some blackfish as well. Okay, this is a totally lazy recipe. I'm not going to measure anything. I'm going to pour in some olive oil, about that much. I'm going to put in some salt into this mixture. about that much, some ground pepper, 
quite a bit, eh, more than I usually put in there, but it'll be fine. And that's the thing, you, you know, you can't mess this up. And some garlic powder. All right, that's that. All you do is you mix this up. Those four simple ingredients. This is a delicious recipe. Um, and I've got mostly sea bass in this uh, pan here and also some blackfish. And then all you do is you're gonna just kind of paint this stuff with it. Just get it on there. And I'm gonna do both sides. And behind me, I've got the oven preheating to 450 degrees on bake. This is gonna be baked and it's gonna be baked for about 20 minutes, but you know, we'll give it a look, make sure it, it flakes the right way. But um, you know, this is, I, I don't like uh, recipes with a lot of ingredients that are a lot of work. I don't wanna be sitting here with eight measuring cups and everything else. Uh, all I wanna do is get the fish in the pan and then, you know, be able to eat. So this is it. All right. So that's that. Going to do the other side, pop it in the oven. And that's it. That's all my dishes. Okay. Four fifty. Check it out in a while. Okay, it's been about eighteen minutes. These fillets were not very thick. I think this is just fine. These are gonna be done. All right, and that's it. I pulled it after about 18 minutes. These fillets are kind of thin, so uh, I knew they would be cooked through. You can serve with lemon wedges if desired. And uh, hey, works great with a variety of fish. It's easy to do, and it's an easy cleanup. Yeah, before we went on to the sea bass portion of that video, we, we did the blackfish stuff, including the drone. And uh, if you haven't seen the drone video on my YouTube channel, the, the new drone video, it's really worth watching. Uh, Real interesting stuff, and a drone that you can just drive around down there. It's it's quite amazing. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.